There was recently a discussion in one of our Club Cubase meetings about the virtues of an analog recording technique of very speed, where you could slow down the tape machine or speed up the tape machine and be able to capture audio at different rates. And one of the discussion points was uh, the Beatles recording Strawberry Fields Forever, where they took two different recordings in different keys, and then they just kind of altered the tape speed and matched them up. And, and the comments were like, oh, it would be so cool if you could do that in Cubase, but with digital audio, we can't really do it. And actually, it's quite simple to do in Cubase using uh, some of the elastic algorithms. So there's two ways to kind of do this, to approach this. One is what we want to do is to tell all the files to be in musical mode, and we also want to be able to tell the algorithm to be in tape machine. So I could select all of my files in my project window with a big giant lasso like so, and I could put them into musical mode in the info line up here on the right hand side. So once those are selected, and then we could actually choose our elastic algorithm and there's gonna be one for tape. Now the other method to select this would be to go into your pool window and your pool window will show you all the files that are being used in a particular project. And I could select all the files here. I could have them in musical mode. And again, I could choose the algorithm. We'll expand this over directly from here as well. So two ways of accomplishing kind of the same thing. Now what we want to do is instead of changing the speed of the tape machine, now all we do is to change the tempo. So we'll get a basis for where our song starts off. And we're at 165 beats a minute. So I'm going to go to 150. So it's that just like slowing down an analog tape, the pitch is lower as well as it's slower. Let's go to 140. I'll go back to our original tempo. Let's speed it up. 189. 154. You can see just instantly, it's going to be able to play back and mimic the behavior of very speed on an analog tape machine. So as you can see, if you wanted to use this kind of age old technique of getting a different feel for your song by speeding up or slowing it down, you could use the elastic tape algorithm with Cubase to accomplish that goal. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.